it's showtime once again on the regular YouTube channel for the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. And then exploded. Today's video has been sent do? to try and translate. Yes, yes, what is it? Gallus' journal. And Gallus was the former guild master, the Thieves Guild, who was killed by Mercer, who is the current guild master of the Thieves Guild. In the last video, Mercer turned on us, and then Carlia, who was framed for. Gauss's murder had saved our lives and we got a hold of Gauss's journal this, this and we need Gauss's journal now. translated over from the Fatmore language into this language I guess it's the English language into this can English language so we can else? understand it and present it in front of the Thieves Guild as evidence that we are not guilty can I help you with anything else I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? If I wanted to get yelled at, I'd Yes, but there's a problem. Problem? Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. What exactly is a Falmor? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So they were like your con? Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. What drove them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. They sound more like victims to me. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Why did Gellis scribe his journal in Falmor? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. What can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. How did you meet him? <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful with this something I'll need to worry about. Dragon had to interrupt us. Something I don't, I never did like about the main quest line is whenever you defeat Aldorn, it really feels like nothing actually happens. Because the dragons still attack at random. And 
telling Adwin was supposed to save the world. Well, Adwin might be the, like, the strongest dragon there is. That doesn't mean that 50 other dragons combined, as in fighting together, could be just as dangerous or even more dangerous. So that's something that made sense to me. First time in Markarth, Traveler? Take my advice. You see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. I just need some supplies and a drink. You're our favorite kind of traveler, then. The market area is just inside the gate. Head on in. Keep your nose clean, and you won't have any problems with us. Oh, yeah. In the season on ending quest, I had given this is Mark Mark Arth, traveler. to the Stormcloaks. Safest city in the reach. And rift into the Imperials. That was part of the peace treaty that we did up in Hyrule Ruthgar. Bit of jewelry for your journey home. Ah, the old god give me strength. Yes, I was just. I die for my here. Move along. Here in the city. Everyone, stay back. The Markor city guard mm -hmm. has this all under control. We'll handle things from here. Move along. Not my business anymore. That's right. It isn't. Until next time. Could talk to this woman that we saved. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Thank you. Gods. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? I must have missed it, sorry. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. There's nine, not eight. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Nope. Right of course. I didn't see nothing. And that's part of uh There's two different quests that spawn off of that. And what it is and another video later on for as of us like I've said before I want to keep it with the main quest line which is done then jump on the thieves guild which I have been doing and then do the destroy the dark brotherhood quest then do the dark brotherhood quest line then the college winter hold quest line the companions quest line do that one quest and a couple of the miscellaneous objectives for the bars college then do the civil war and then we'll hop on some side quests. Might do a couple in between, but as of right now that's the the main goal is to get through all the quest lines in the game and then go on to the side quest. And that also includes like Daedric Artifact quest and Daedric Quest as well. Hello Kelsey. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? It's okay there, bud. I hear you're the authority on ancient Falmore. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. But I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. What will it cost you to change your mind? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you 
that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Give me excess, or you'll regret it. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Forget it, maybe I'll come back later. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Gain the key. You see a key? Okay. Hold Dwarven City underneath the key. Okay. Nishu on Zell. Best steer clear if you can. Didn't actually think I could just walk through there. In previous playthroughs, they would like stop me and say back off or be arrested, something like that.
So this whole tower is Kalsumo's. Not counting his lab and his museum. And that little area he said he had set up where we were talking to him at. So something tells me that guy ain't nowhere near the brook. and the game don't let you so you just have to go back to where you came it's not really that bad only thing that could prove challenging is if your sneak is low then you'll get caught whenever you go back into the museum and you have to sneak past those guards in here Back, eh? And how was our friend Calselmo? This should help translate Gauss's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. This 
stuck, maybe. Cool. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthe? Anything about... the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Enther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Enther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Thank you, Enther. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Enther. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. So I wrote all that in a split second. Back at back at Kasuma's tower. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Was there something else? Garli um, Gallus's journal mentioned the Twilight Specular. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. What does it require, that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples. It just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I, I'd understand better if left... I'd understand better if less mystery, mystery was involved. The Nightingale. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very way. Very well, we do it for your way now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime... I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Nightingale Blade added. I'm always on the lookout for all sorts of Quickly. goods. Bring what is me it? whatever you Quickly. find, what is it? and I'll see what I can do. How's business? Business? Business is actually inconsequential to me. I share little of your lust for coin. However, as promised, I'll still be more than happy to take any stolen merchandise off your hands. Usual well, so we'll guild rate. Now. Let's take a look at him. Let's see what we got. Don't think we have anything fancy. Oh yeah, but there's still a couple of things from Kalsuma.
take a look at this Nightingale Blade. Absorbs 10 points of health and 10 points of stamina per second from the target. Damage rate is 23, weighs 12 pounds, and is worth 851 septums. Let's look at that damage rate compared to the Elven Sword. The Elven Swords have a higher damage rate. But the Nightingale Blade has 10 points of health and stamina damage as well. So let's say we'll do the blades with the right hand, Nightingale Blade. Give my the regards left. to Carlia if you see her. Just because I use the right one more than the left, and the left one be like a special swing. But either way, this is it for this video. We're going to be presenting the decoded. Journal of Gallus's to the Thieves Guild, and we're going to try to prove Carlisle's innocence as well as my own innocence, just in case Mercer has slandered our name any at all to the Guild. Either way, we're going to find out in the next video. This is Riglin signing off.